Hello and welcome to Mistakes Were Made. This is a channel that I created to document my family's progress with debt reduction and eventual elimination. As you can hear in the background with all the tippity tapping, the dogs are making themselves known. You may hear them bellow in the background depending on if somebody decides to walk by the front um, window or yawning, scratching, just making generic noises. I will try to make this quick though so that we can avoid at least some of that. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get started, but first for those of you who are new to the channel, we do our budgeting on a pay period basis, which ends up breaking the month up into a first half and a second half. So this time around, we are doing the second pay period of May, May 16th through the 31st. Let's get the calculator out and let's zoom in so you can see a little bit better. All right, now this is gonna be um, an interesting month. I have some high hopes for having extra money at the end of the pay period to do some significant debt impacts. We, <laughs> so Mr. M's paycheck did go up last pay period. I wanted to wait and see what this pay periods check look like to hopefully get an idea of what we can expect going forward. Great idea. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm not sad about it, but unfortunately he did get for the first time in forever, a bonus that was actually included in his standard paycheck. Usually when he gets a bonus, it ends up being a separate check. This time, of course, <laughs> it was part of his pay. So um, we still do not know exactly what his paycheck is going to look like on a regular basis. But this time around, it was $21.79.34 because of the bonus. I'm kind of encouraged by that because hopefully that does ring true to his pay staying at that 2000 plus level but now we'll have to wait till the next one for us to know the other piece of this month is this is the first paycheck that i am getting since i got my promotion and um what i don't know is whether this amount includes a bonus for myself as well. Now, having gone from supervisor to manager, I did not necessarily expect to have a bonus payout, but it could be because I was a supervisor at the time that the bonus was earned, they still paid it out. Um, I only know this amount because it's showing as pending in the bank account, so I haven't had a chance to actually look at the paycheck. So we will see. Now, of course, miscellaneous income, we don't have any that we are expecting at this time, so we're gonna leave that blank. We're doing the same thing with Etsy, no idea if we'll have any sales or not. The um, buffer rollover that is expected from the first pay period of May, which today is the 13th, so we have not closed that out yet. So some of this stuff is going to be speculative. I, I know I say that fairly often, um, but we're thinking it's going to be $200.31. So we're going to go ahead and add all of those together. for a total of $4,775.82. Now I will say I am really not expecting my paycheck to be $2,396. Um, if it's that amount next pay period, I will be incredibly shocked. Uh, and I am very much expecting to see a bonus to a tribute to this being higher than I've anticipated. I do believe that it will be over $2,000. 
based on the raise that I got with the promotion, but the $23.96 seems very, very high. We'll see um, in a couple of days my paycheck um, pay stub should be available and then I'll be able to find out for sure. Okay, so we've got our standard mortgage payment for the pay period, which is $875. These first few do not get paid during the second pay period. And um, we have not actually gotten our bills for PGE and Northwest Natural just yet. It all depends on the timing of when we're doing this um, budget with me process as to whether it's hit early enough or late enough for us to have gotten the bill and have an idea of what the actual cost will be. So we're going to use our $150 um, kind of default guesstimate. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. This month is one where we have our garbage bill because it comes out every other month. So the odd months is for that. We have our internet bill and we have our phone cell phone bill so if we add these together we come to a total of one thousand four hundred and forty one dollars and now we'll subtract the total income that we had of $4,775.82. And that gives us a leftover of $3,334.82. Okay. I am going to pause here just for a second because my phone's like, hey, it's too hot right now. And so I need to see what the what... Okay, I don't know what my phone's talking about. It doesn't feel very warm to me, so whatever. Um, during the second pay period of the month is when we do uh, add just a little bit of money to our emergency fund. We are already at the $1,000 mark, so every month we chip in just a little bit more um, at this time. We're going to skip the extra job loss savings. Um, again, if you're new, we don't make that calculation until we've attributed all of the costs that we are responsible for for the month. And then if there's anything left over, then we do some calculations to put some money towards this. Uh, we do want to have a $200 buffer. Whatever the cents is here will be calculated at the end of this process as well. So for now, we are looking at $225 for our cost, and we'll go ahead and just add that to the total we had here because it was a negative. So that leaves us with $3,109.82. Now for our cash envelopes, we have triple A. And there was somebody who in the comments had mentioned that they're kind of looking for um, an alternative to AAA. They want the same kinds of services, but um, they're finding that the subscription is a little expensive and it's coming due, I want to say in September is what she said. Um, I am not aware of what other options there are for AAA. I tried to do a quick little search and there were a few that seemed similar but maybe not ex having the exact same benefits um, but they seem pretty on par with cost so if any of you out there have a service that does offer similar things to AAA and has um, a good price to it please consider noting that in the comments in case they are watching today and can take that information and do some investigation for themselves. Okay, so birthdays, we do $12. Car maintenance is not one for this month. Christmas gets 12. Clothes get five. Dining out, entertainment, and garden yard do not get anything. 
Gas gets $100. Gifts gets $5. Giving is a first half of the month item. Groceries gets $200. Health gets $10. We do not do household. License gets $15. Pets get 160. Prime gets 12. And taxes gets 20. So we're going to clear this out so that we can add all of these together. 15 plus 12 plus 12 plus 5 plus 100 plus 5 is 200 plus 10. Plus 15 plus 160 plus 12 plus 20. So our total is $566. And then we will again subtract our leftover from the savings section $3,109.82. And that brings us to a total of $2,543.82 left in income to tackle the debt. So we have our three credit cards still available here that need to be worked. Um, however, this one is a first pay period cost Discover is solely a second pay period and Citibank gets paid twice a month. So once during the first pay period and once during the second. And this is a $400 payment. And this one is a $250 payment. We again are going to skip the extra debt payment until we can finish our calculations. And the total debt that we have for this pay period cost is 650. So we're going to go ahead and add that 650 to the negative number that was already there. And that leaves us with a total of $1,893.82. Now I budget $30 of guilt-free money for myself each pay period. And I've stayed on target for the most part. There were a couple of pay periods where I went a bit over, but overall I've done pretty well. Um, we'll take that 30 from there and we don't need the calculator for this. Gives us $1,863.82. Now, um, we are not doing the gardening season savings anymore. We'll just X all of these others out. We are saving up for the junk removal. Our goal currently is $500. And I want to say we have 150 saved towards it so far. So this will be a nice chunk to add. We might have 100 250 at this point, actually. I guess we'll, we'll see when we <laughs> do the um, budget recap for next, from net, last pay period or this pay period that we're in but the first pay period of May so we have a hundred I kind of did a little too much oh poop too many xing outs so the total goes there this is now super ugly so we're just gonna make it as ugly as possible and right <laughs> underneath we will um, I'm going to add $130. Well, I don't need to do that. I am very capable. I can <laughs> subtract $100 from there. <laughs> so our leftover is $1,763.82. Now here comes what I call the fun part. We are going to divvy this up between debt and savings. And savings gets 25% of this leftover money, and debt gets 75% of this leftover money. And depending on how that actually breaks out, we will um, put some of that debt and split it again 
between two of our credit cards. But for now, we are going to put the actual amount in here. So 1763.82, and we're gonna subtract 75%. So for savings, we have $440. Then we're going to take that 1763.82 cents again, subtract 440, and that gives us 1300 and $23 for the debt portion. So um, we also know that then we have 82 cents here left over. So we're going to fill some stuff back out over in the savings area. First, we will add the 440. And then we'll add the 82 cents to the rollover. Okay, so we're working with $1,323. The way that I like to make adjustments um, for this is I like to put numbers that are 0, 25, 50, or 75 um, going to the main debt. So looking at this with 1323, we're just shy of being at the 1325. So we're going to go ahead and make this one $1,300. And that remaining $23 will go to Discover. All right. So we are going to fill that out up here. We've got 1323 for this. And then we're going to note for City, 1300 And then for Discover, 23 So if we stick to our budget, if there are no surprises, um, or if we have surprises but we've saved up enough in our cash envelopes to cover those surprises, um, and barring, of course, any catastrophic things coming through, and we maintain the amount of money that we're expecting to have, um, particularly left over, Maybe there might be a little bit extra if we do end up having some sales on Etsy. Um, we may have $1,300 to go towards that Citibank card in addition to the standard budgeted $400. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, looking to the future, which I am doing constantly... <laughs> Um, the way the numbers are trending, and of course, you know, life likes to throw stuff at us, so I never bank on things going the way I'm thinking they will. I, I always do these budget things with a little bit of a grain of salt because you just never know. But if all goes well, if I keep the job that I have through the end of June, that's another big piece of it, there is a very good chance that we will be able to pay that Citibank card off. Um, I am hoping, hoping, hoping that that is the case, not just that the job sticks around that long, but that the money um, predictions that I'm, I'm doing actually come to fruition and we don't have anything that deviates us significantly from them because I would love for us to only have two debts left to to contend with. So we will see how everything turns out, but I'm very excited. I hope this was an interesting video for you all. Um, oopsie. I'm going to just move out a little bit here. If you have any um, feedback, suggestions, and or, or ideas, just want to do a comment, say hi. I absolutely love all of the comments that people have been making. Um, 
you guys have been incredibly supportive and I'm very glad that you're here and watching. As always, if this is something that you're interested in, you want to see how we continue to do in the future, especially when the job piece goes away, uh, please consider subscribing so that you can stay on top of all the stuff that we're doing. Alrighty, well that is it in a nutshell. We will see you in the next one.